and meteorologist Megan Perry is closely tracking Ian's path. Yeah, it is a very slow moving storm, which just compounds the impact from it uh, as far as the storm surge, the wind and all of the rain. So before I track it, I want to show you where it is right now. And I want to show you the direction that this storm is moving. It's moving north northeast. And a lot of times you hear meteorologists talk about the front right quadrant. It has to do with the direction of the storm. So that's going to be this area right here as the most damaging and destructive part of the hurricane. That's the quadrant that we watch for for the heaviest rain, the heaviest wind, and the strongest pull of that storm surge coming on land. So you look at the storm direction, this is the front right quadrant. So it's not necessarily a north-south direction, it's wherever the storm is moving. So now as I track that storm, keep your eye on that. That is where the biggest impact is going to be from this storm system as it moves towards the north-northeast and only at eight miles per hour. And you heard them say it made landfall as 100 50 mile per hour wind cat four a cat five is 157 we were seven miles per hour short of a category five so this was a very strong category four hurricane it's a category three right now it is forecast to stay a cat one as it approaches orlando and as it finally moves out into the atlantic briefly it weakens to a tropical storm which is still a huge storm system and then it turns back towards the carolinas and continues up the eastern seaboard as a tropical storm. So when we talk about storm surge, that is the most damaging and destructive part of the hurricane. So you see that wind coming on shore. It's basically a wall of water that has to go somewhere. It's getting displaced by that storm system. We're talking about 10 feet. That is not survivable. So we're going to continue to track this storm as we head through the rest of the night.